Today we will learn to create pivot tables and pivot charts in MS Excel. Select the data from which you want to create a pivot table. Make sure that the data is arranged in tabular form and it has valid headings. Now go to insert tab while the data is selected and press pivot table from range or table. From available fields, select appropriate fields for columns and rows. Computed values must be select in values area. Use drag and drop to select columns. You can use slicers to quickly filter the values. While any cell in a pivot table is selected, you can select any chart to make a pivot chart linked to the same pivot table. You can change or switch columns and rows at any time to modify the pivot chart or table. You can format values to any format of you liking from value field settings. Let's insert another slicer to select revenue or expenses from the report. You can also insert a full page chart in your workbook. Just copy and paste your existing pivot chart into the chart sheet. It will keep connection with the pivot table and will display the same information the pivot table is displaying. Let's create another pivot table. You can select multiple columns for both rows and columns of pivot table. Columns will form parents children relationship and will expand and collapse accordingly. You can uncheck blank columns to hide them. Blanks appear when your source data contains blank rows. We selected entire columns from source sheet instead of range containing only data. The reason is that any data added later below the existing data will be included in the pivot table or chart automatically upon refresh. We chose totals for columns only to show profitability. But because both revenue and expenses were in positive, they failed to show us profit. We can convert expenses into negative values to show correct values of profitability. The revised values column is not part of the pivot table. We need to include this column into source data. Let's add this column into the pivot table. You can also rearrange rows and columns 
within pivot table. Congratulations! Pivot table is now displaying correct profit values. You can use filters in pivot table to filter the report. You can add computed rows and columns in the pivot table as well. Suppose we need all values rounded to thousand. We can create a computed column to achieve this. New column is automatically added into the values area. You can remove the old column to show only rounded values. Similarly, computed rows can also be added. Let's add a computed row for the profit values. Make sure that the newly included column or row is not unchecked in a filter. If it is not checked, it won't show up in the pivot table. You can check the solve order of computed rows and columns. You can also generate a list of computed rows and columns. You can choose a pivot table style from list of designs.
There are a number of layouts, from which, you can choose an appropriate one, for your report. Tabular layout gives you the option, to repeat parent labels as well. You can turn on, or off, subtotals, and grand totals, as per your requirement. You can show, or hide, the field headers. You can also rename the headings, as per your requirements. You can show, or hide, the plus minus buttons, used to expand, and collapse fields. You can rename your pivot table appropriately, to identify it in a formula, if there are a lot of pivot tables, in your workbook. You can choose appropriate value, if there are blank cells in your report. Any changes in your source data, will be reflected in your pivot tables, or charts, upon refresh. Please feel free to ask any question or leave a feedback in the comment section.